my channel and welcome back to another video that I'm really excited to shoot. If you are already subscribed to my channel then thank you so much for coming back, it means so much and if you are new here then please do hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. I do home, motherhood and lifestyle kind of content so if that's your thing if you subscribe then you can catch all of the latest content from me. I'm going to be trying to upload once a fortnight um, but it may increase a little bit over this lockdown and Christmas period because I've been furloughed from work so I will actually have a bit more time to make some more videos. So my drink of choice today is a cup of tea in my Starbucks candy cane mug which I absolutely love, feeling super cosy and I've also got myself a little packet of Jaffa Cakes to enjoy along the way of this haul as well. So I am hopefully going to be moving house in the next three weeks or so. So I've started buying so many things now for the new house that we need. Um, for example, a dining table, which I've now bought. I can insert a little picture of that here. And we've bought a new mattress now for our new bed. So we've bought a few of the big things, um, but we still have quite a few of the big things to buy. And I'm just going in and out buying decorative pieces and essentials that we need as well for the house right now. I just wanted to go for a really cosy, chilled vibe today. So I'm just sat down here in front of the TV, got the classic Netflix fire on in the background. So hopefully that gives you the chilled out vibes as well that we're going for today. So grab your drink and get cosy and I hope you enjoy this IKEA and H&M home haul. So the first item that I picked up was this fake plant. The vision for this was to put in our ensuite room. Um, so we're gonna have a little window sill in there. So I'm just gonna simply put this in the middle of the window and I think it's gonna look really sweet. And then I also wasn't keen on just the plain black tub and in Ikea they sell tons and tons of different little pots to put your plant faux plants in. So I picked up the gold one. So that's just gonna sit like this on the window ledge in the ensuite and I think it looks really gorgeous as well with the creams and the green. I wanted a bit of greenery in that ensuite and with the cream it just means that you can match any other colour with it and just keep it really neutral. Along the line of plants I also picked up three of the eucalyptus stems that they do. So it's a 65 centimetre stem. So I picked up three of these. So I thought either these could go in a taller vase that I currently have or I also thought that one of, or two of the stems might actually look quite nice in this vase that I also picked up from Ikea. So it's this grey fluted vase, it's like a grey smoked blue kind of colour, I think it's gorgeous. I'll just hold it up so you can see that there. And what I thought might look quite nice was one of the eucalyptus stems sort of sat inside of that, um, maybe on top of the dining table or on the side as you walk into the house on the little um, radiator cabinet that we will have. So I just thought that could look really nice or I could just use the whole of the three stems and put it in a longer vase that I've got, I'm not sure yet. So these two things were amazing and I love them. I then picked up another staple piece, which is one of these glass... Kiki, do you mind? Kiki's scratching on her scratching mat and drowning my voice. So the next thing that I picked up is the staple um, candle dome that everybody seems to have on Instagram. I love them, I've been meaning to get my hands on one for ages, and I thought this one was just the perfect size to fit over the White Company candles. So I've grabbed my White Company candle that I have here, just so that I can show you that this dome will fit over that perfectly. And it's just about the right height to fit nicely over the top on a little display. I think that'll look really gorgeous, and also it helps to keep the smells inside. I know I have the lid on this one, but if you didn't have the lid, then if you get one of these, you can pop it over the top and it just helps you to keep the scent nice and preserved so that you can smell it more when you burn the candles. The next thing I picked up is another vase. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you will have known that I did buy the White Company Pussy Willow, which is what is in the vase currently. And I didn't have a tall enough vase to put that in. And it was such a shame because it's quite expensive, but I just loved it. 
but I really wanted to showcase it off in a lovely tool vase. So this vase from Ikea was absolutely perfect. It was £12. I love that it's got the funnel neck a bit lower down so that it contains the pussy willow. And then it opens up a little bit more at the top. But let me just hold it back for you. It just showcases off the pussy willow branches from the White Company so perfectly. I've kind of found it really hard to stick to one theme with the house. So, for example, in our kitchen, I've gone for greys and brass kind of colours. In the living room, I'm planning to do creams, neutrals with a hint of black. In the bedroom, it's mainly going to be white with a hint of grey. And in Rudy's room, I've gone for white with a hint of green. And in the guest bedroom, it will be the neutrals with a hint of black like the living room. But I just can't, I couldn't seem to stick to one theme throughout the whole house. So I hope it's going to look all okay when I combine it all together in the house. It's not going to look too different when you walk into each room to the point where people would think this doesn't really match the feel of the house. Um, but I just can't decide. I love so many different themes. I love people's homes who have got a splash of colour, like a big dark green velvet sofa. Or I love the dark navy coloured beds that you can get. And I just couldn't, i just finding it so hard to make decisions and just choose one thing. So moving on to a few more different things now. I went for a pack of the six glasses that they do. So they are ribbed across here. They're not quite pint size, they're just a smaller glass size. But what I just thought was, Dan, my other half, absolutely loves drinking from, you know, the big Stella pint glasses or the um, Peroni big pint glasses. But they're not really the nicest things to serve to your guests, I guess, when they come round and ask for a glass of water or something. So I just thought if we get these, we can give these to people when they come round the house. Obviously not at the moment because of lockdown but we can give people a squash or a juice or whatever they want um, in one of these. It just looks a bit smarter, I think. And then to feed Dan's massive glass addiction, he wouldn't be too happy about putting his drinks in one of these. So I did get him this massive beer tankard, which we can just fill up with a massive pint of squash. And that was only one pound. I wish I'd got more of these for him because as soon as I showed it to him, he was like, I love it, thank you, because it just looks a lot neater, but it's still really big, which is what he needs. So he really loved that, and I, if I go back to Ikea, I will definitely pick up some more. So along the lines of glasses, I then went on to pick up two of these gorgeous glasses that I just got Christmas vibes from. I thought maybe we could have a little mixer in one of these, so a Disarono and Coke with some ice. You might put some Baileys in here at Christmas with some ice cubes. Looks that'd be the perfect little mixer glass to have a lovely Christmas drink in. So I picked up one of those for each of us. Again, I wish I'd have picked up four, but for some reason I just picked up the two. So at the moment we have two of these. Along the same lines of what I was saying about the glasses, I personally love all of my little mugs, for example, my Starbucks one that I showed you at the beginning. But again, it might not be everybody's preference and you don't want to be giving a cup that says love you lots boyfriend to your boyfriend's mum when they come around for a cup of tea so um, what I thought was I would pick up some nice clear ones and we could serve people their teas and coffee in these when they come over they're just really plain neutral and the handle is really funky as well it's not it hasn't got a hole in the middle so it's just got this thick bit that you hold on to so it's a good job that the cup's not too big, otherwise it um, it might fall out of people's hands. Again, I may pick up more if I go back to Ikea anytime soon, but I thought for the time being, these two would be perfect. <laughs> If you have kids you might find this section helpful if you don't have kids you might just want to skip this little bit until I get to the H&M home items I picked up this little sippy cup honestly you can't have enough sippy cups like all of them seem to leak sometimes the seals break you lose them god knows where you lose them but somehow just going to the park you end up losing the bottle then you can't find it for weeks and then you find it in the boot of your car where it's been accidentally fallen out of the bag. It's a really great price, so if he gets on well with these, 
just for you know juice at lunchtime or juice for the afternoon snack. Um, if he really likes these, then I will pick up a couple more because I think it was like one pound or something. It's a really good price. I then picked up this little cutlery set for Rudy. I think he's kind of gone past that plastic stage. Now he loves using a little fork, so we'll encourage the spoon for things like porridge and cereals and encourage the fork for picking things up like um, potato or meat and things like that. And then finally for Rudy I picked up two of these little bibs. The reason why I picked these up, why I thought they were great, was A, they just simply tie around the neck with the velcro, really handy. B, they've got this little um, section down here where it can catch all of the food, so a little catcher. And lastly it's kind of a waterproof material, so it's not going to stain super easy and it's just going to wipe clean when he's used it as well. So then moving on to what I got from H&M Home. I picked up this set of two placemats. It's a anthracite colour and it's a woven round detail placemat. The table that we've ordered, as I probably showed you a moment ago, is round. So I thought sticking with round placemats would work really well on that table. And a similar colour, the top of the table is grey smoked glass and these are obviously a really deep dark grey. Just show you those up close. I love the detailing of the H&M Home range as well, it's so understated and it just looks really classic. So I actually picked up eight of those. <laughs> I actually didn't mean to order eight, but I actually meant to order four. But I thought, if they get ruined, or you might need a couple of extra to put something hot in the middle of the table, I'm just going to keep eight, and then at least we have a spare set if we ever need it. Then, along the theme of the grey that will go with the table and the placemats, I just picked up some new tea towels. I find it so hard to find nice tea towels anywhere. Like, I, I genuinely don't like the look of most tea towels it's I'm so fussy with them I don't know why I need to just find somewhere that sells nice tea towels for a decent price that aren't hideous so I did find these ones on H&M home they're still in the wrapper but as you can see they are a gray pinstripe and then all different stripes for the last two. And they come tied up with this cute little bow, so I don't know if that means that they've all got little ties on so that you can hang them up. Let me get them out. Oh, so they are tied up in the packet with a little bow around them. It's really cute. Again, the lovely detailing on the label. And I've just lifted this up and I can see that it has got a little hook underneath. So you can hook the tea towel up. Also these are organic cotton, so they'll be super soft. I don't know if that means they'll be super absorbent. That's the other thing that I find. It's so annoying when you get a tea towel that's not very absorbent. Putting it back in its packaging just so it feels brand new when we get to the house. And then finally, I love this, it's so nice. So the legs on our table are a brassy gold kind of colour and they crisscross round like this. So I've got, I did pinch this idea from my friend who's also got a wire fruit basket in the middle of her table and I picked up this. So gorgeous, I love it. Oh, it's got a little handle if you needed to pick it up. And I'm just gonna put the fruit in the middle of the table. So satsumas, apples, maybe a couple of bananas. Although I'd quite like bananas in the fridge, but. I just thought sit that in the middle of the table with the placemats around the edge as well. Look how nicely those colours complement each other. It's just so gorgeous. So I have never been so happy about a fruit basket really ever and I didn't think I ever would be happy about a fruit basket like this but I am and I love it. And that was 9 99 oh, I forgot two things. So last thing I picked up were these two massive bags. They come like this and they are called the Dimper. When you open it up, it's massive, look. I mean, it's like the size of my whole upper body. And it honestly, you could fit so much in here. So I picked up two of these um, to help us when we move. 
you can fill this up with anything, but I do think it might be particularly helpful with putting in all of the clothes that you have folded up in your drawers. Because you could literally fit so many clothes in here. Um, honestly, you could put anything in it. So I picked up two of those. I think they were £2 each. I just thought these would come in handy so much that I actually was willing to pay the £4 for the two bags this time. And I'm so happy that I did. I actually love them. I hope you liked all of these items. Um, I know for some people it might seem strange. Like, why would you ever want to show things that you picked up in Ikea and H&M Home online on a camera, but I love watching hauls in general for anything. You know, I love the B&M hauls, I love even seeing what kind of toilet paper people have picked up. So, honestly, I think there's a lot of other people out there like that, and I would appreciate the things I've picked up, even if it just gets you a little bit excited to go to Ikea next time, you know? Not at the moment, because it's not open, but I also forgot to add that that was the first time I've ever been to Ikea, and my mind was blown. Honestly, it was just the most super fun day out ever, and I loved it. So, thanks Jazz for taking me. My next video is going to be a toddler autumn winter haul. I've bought so many nice things for Rudy recently, clothes wise. I've bought clothes, shoes, coats and hats and I just thought it's too gorgeous not to show you all what I've picked up in case any of you have toddler boys. I just wanna show you where you can get some really gorgeous outfits, maybe give you some outfit ideas and yeah, just help your little man be the coolest dude possible in his little outfits. Honestly, he looks so cute in some of the things we picked up, like I can't cope. And then after that, I'm hopefully gonna be filming my empty house tour and that will be the start of all of the new house content to come. I'm so excited. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope you liked it and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.